The Sacred Quest, An Invitation to the Study of Religion, 6th edition. Textbook in two passes, first pass, terse summaries and keywords. Second pass, concise summaries. Chapter 1, Toward a Definition of Religion. Religion involves ways of thinking, feeling, and acting that refer to notions of sacred reality. It is complex, with individual and social dimensions. Substantive definitions focus on identifying the essence of religion. Functional definitions examine what religion does for individuals and societies. A good working definition combines both approaches. Key terms, sacred reality, substantive definition, functional definition. Chapter 2, The Nature of the Sacred. Sacred reality is distinct from the ordinary, beyond human control, prominently involved in human welfare and determinative of aspects of human existence. It provokes awe, power, joy, security, and identity. Key Terms, Sacred Reality, Hierophany. Chapter 3, The Appearance of the Sacred. Sacred reality appears through various media. Sacred persons like prophets, priests, shamans, sacred objects like scriptures, relics, sacred time marked by holidays and rituals, and sacred space like temples. Different traditions emphasize different media. Key terms, prophet, priest, shaman, scripture, relic, ritual, temple. Chapter 4, The Languages of the Sacred. Sacred language includes myth, stories, parables, and theology. Myths explain origins and human fate. Stories instruct about sacred figures. Parables teach through fictional tales. Theology analyzes doctrines. Sacred language is preserved through oral traditions and sacred text. Key terms, myth, story, parable, theology, oral tradition, sacred text. Chapter 5, Ritual. Rituals mark transitions like births, coming of age, marriages, and deaths. They celebrate sacred times and seasons. Rituals allow adoration, petition, thanksgiving, and penance. They can build community identity and meaning. But empty ritualism without inner devotion is criticized. Key terms, rite of passage, adoration, petition, thanksgiving, penance. Chapter 6, Sacred Communities. Notions of the sacred unify communities socially and morally around traditions, rituals, and ethics. But differing views of the sacred can also divide communities through heresy, schism, and religious conflict. Communities must balance tradition and innovation. Key terms, sacred community, heresy, schism, tradition, innovation. Chapter 7, The Problem of Evil. Evil contradicts notions of sacred reality. Responses include karma, divine promises, appeals to divine sovereignty, and dualism. No response is fully adequate, but they seek meaning amid suffering. Key terms, theodicy, karma, promise, sovereignty, dualism. Chapter 8, Religion and Morality. Religion and morality are interconnected but distinct ways of ordering life in the world. Their relationship exhibits tension, complementarity, and mutual reinforcement. Justification and ethics examines the reasons people give for their moral judgments. Key terms, morality, justification, deontology, teleology. Chapter 9, The Quest for Salvation. Salvation provides deliverance and meaning. Its forms include individual or communal, in this world or the next. Paths to salvation emphasize knowledge, action, aesthetics, submission, and grace. But the mystery of salvation remains. Key terms, salvation, deliverance, knowledge, action, aesthetics, submission, grace. Now we will do the second pass with concise summaries. Chapter 1, Toward a Definition of Religion. This chapter discusses the challenges of defining religion due to its complexity. Different proposed definitions are examined, including those focused on beliefs, James Martineau, feelings, Friedrich Schleiermacher, social functions, Emile Durkheim, and ultimate concern, Paul Tillich. Key issues include reducing religion to other fields like psychology or economics versus recognizing its relative independence, focusing on substance versus function, and balancing inclusiveness and exclusiveness. The authors propose a phenomenological definition involving notions of sacred reality that shape human thought, 
feeling and action over time in response to problems like suffering and death. Chapter 2, The Nature of the Sacred This chapter explicates the concept of the sacred, referring to a dimension of reality seen as set apart and extraordinary. Four characteristics are discussed, being specially distinctive slash set apart, being beyond human volitional control to some extent, being specially prominent in human welfare, and being determinative of aspects of human existence. Different notions of the sacred are compared, like the transcendent god of theistic faiths versus immanent conceptions in some eastern religions. The complex interplay of transcendence and immanence is shown through examples like the incarnation in Christianity and Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 3, The Appearance of the Sacred This chapter examines how the sacred becomes manifest in human experience through persons, objects, time, space and other media. Three patterns of sacred appearance are analyzed, the prophetic, revelation, associated with Judaism slash Islam, the mystical, enlightenment states, associated with Hinduism slash Buddhism, and the sacramental, material manifestations, associated with Christianity slash Shinto. Diverse examples are discussed, like prophets, scriptures, festivals, temples and relics. Traditions combine these patterns in complex ways over history. Questions of human creation versus sacred disclosure are considered. Chapter 4, The Languages of the Sacred This chapter explores the varied forms of religious language. Different genres are analyzed, including myths, stories, parables, scriptures, theology and art. Functions discussed include explaining cosmic orders, disclosing the sacred through events, conveying values, and interpreting doctrine. Modes of transmission like oral culture and scriptural canon are compared. Truth claims employ distinct types of justification. Overall, religious language expresses unique intentions to convey experiences of the sacred. Chapter 5, Ritual This chapter examines the ubiquitous role of ritual in religious traditions. Examples analyzed include enactments of myths, rites of passage, seasonal ceremonies, and worship rituals aimed at spiritual states like adoration and purification. Ritual systems are seen to transmit worldviews and solidarity for communities, though they risk empty formalism if separated from inner conviction. Functions of major worship rituals are delineated, including adoration, thanksgiving, petition and penance. Anti-ritual movements emerge to correct perceived problems with meaningless rituals. Overall, rituals integrate beliefs and experiences of the sacred into bodily expression. Chapter 6, Sacred Communities This chapter explores how shared notions of the sacred unify religious communities, providing identity, meaning and ethical direction. But differing views of the sacred can also divide communities through heresy, schism and conflict. Preserving tradition provides stability, but resisting innovation leads to rigidity. Balancing tradition and change allows communities to maintain identity while adapting to new realities. Rituals like communal worship strengthen community bonds. Ultimately, the social character of religion powerfully shapes both individual and group life. Chapter 7, The Problem of Evil this chapter grapples with the contradictions between harsh realities of evil and notions of a benevolent sacred order. Diverse religious responses are analyzed, including karma, divine promises, appeals to mystery, and dualism. But the persistence of unjust suffering challenges the adequacy of any theodicy. The problem of evil prompts ongoing questioning and reformulation of fundamental assumptions about the nature of sacred reality and its relation to the world. Chapter 8, Religion and Morality This chapter investigates complex interrelationships between religion and morality. In some cases, religion overrides ordinary morality when divine commands contradict ethical norms. In other cases, religion supplements morality by shaping its formation, interpretation and motivation. Justification and ethics examines the reasons people give for their moral judgments, whether appealing to duties, consequences or religious precepts. Patterns in the religion-morality relation include tension, complementarity, and mutual reinforcement. Diverse traditions negotiate this complex nexus in their own ways. Chapter 9, The Quest for Salvation This chapter analyzes the ubiquitous search for salvation, or deliverance to ultimate meaning and value, in religious traditions. Forms of salvation vary widely, from individual to communal in this worldly to otherworldly. 
Paths of salvation similarly diverge, prioritizing knowledge, action, aesthetics, submission or grace. But the multiplicity of soteriological concepts and strategies signals both the unity and diversity of the human sacred quest to construct order and significance in an ambiguous world.